Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. And this is going to be kind of my final say on overclocking the the Vega 56. Okay, so this is, I'm going to show you the base. This is the start point. Okay, this is where it's going to be safe. Every Vega 56 should run this. And this is where you start. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is you got to get into Global Watman. And then you take your slider here, your performance slider, and go all the way up to Custom. And that turns everything else. These are useless. Don't use them. The same with the Turbo. It's useless. It doesn't do anything. So the first thing, we're just going to go down here in order as we see them. Okay, we're going to unlock the frequency. And we're going to go up to 1627 or thereabouts. There. And you want to bring this up to about there. And that's good. And I like to keep things even. So the reason I go to 1627 is that will give me about 1600 megahertz. Okay, so 1600 megahertz should be safe for every Vega 56. And then we go to voltage control. And we set them to 1150. 1150 should be safe for every Vega 56. Now we go over here to the uh, fan, okay? So this is, we want to bump, change this. We'll go, let's see, let's see, about 30C, like 30C. 30C, we want about 40%, and then, 45, 44, we'll go to 60, and then 53, we'll go to 80, this will go to 90. Okay, that's a more aggressive fan curve. I'll show you the mine to begin with. And then we take memory T E and we bring the memory speed to 900. I bring the this down to 925. You probably don't have to do that, but I've always done it and it's always worked. And we, oh, the power limit. This is the important part. If you don't move this, nothing will work. Take the power limit and slide it all the way. Okay. So that's, this is the starting point. And so then you go apply. And then you go and run Time Spy, and you should get a score somewhere above 7100 on the graphics side. And uh, so I want to show you my curve here, so you, because I've already done this multiple times. So we go load profile and my base overclock. Yeah, so, so this is where I've got my curve. Let's see. So use, you know, play with the curve. If you're just going to see what it can do, you want it to be as aggressive as possible. Because the cooler it is, the better. 
So we're at 900. So this is basically what I just showed you. And this is going to get you two thirds of your performance gain. Just this. It's as easy as that. Hit apply, go. You don't have to do anything. Whatever. Now, if you're want to eke out that last one third of possible gain, and the first thing you need to do is your voltage control. Take these numbers and drop them 10 millivolts at a time. So you would change this to 1140 and you change this to 1140. Go run time spy and see if your graphics scores improve. If they do, you go and go another 10. hit applied and go run time spy you keep doing that until you not until it crashes until you don't see an improvement in your graphics score mine was 1120 if I went below 1120 it didn't help my graphics score and when it went above 1120 you know, so 1120 was the sweet spot for my system. Yours may vary. And you may want to change, once you get your, find that sweet spot, you may want to go fives, up five, down five megahertz to see if you can get that little bit more, but it's basically it. So once you do that, you, you can go here and do the same thing with your memory. You take this memory and you bump it up 10 take you know run your test make sure it's stable this is you're gonna stay you run your test make sure there's no artifacts take it up another 10 run time spy that you know it should improve your graphic score and you shouldn't see any artifacts once you see start seeing artifacts that's that's where you want to break it off and then you want to bring it down so I know I start seeing artifacts at around 935 so I usually run it at 920 because that's going to be far enough down where it's not going to, you know, over if you get a real long session, it's not going to, you're not going to start seeing artifacts. So once you get your, your, your best memory speed, then you go up here, your frequency, and you start pushing these up. Now, I knew from previous testing that th this system could go 1650 okay so that's what actually started all this because I wanted to see how it would run if I had it running 1650 all the time and what I found is is on mine I run about 25 below whatever this is set to so I would take this up to 1677 A little bit and then run time spy and you go up here and I'm let, let me do that okay so we're gonna hit apply here and I'm gonna go run time spy and come back I'm back okay so here is my time spy score and 7,378. Yeah, that's close to what I had before. Okay, and that was... I don't think we've even got this time. But what I wanted to show you is that the orange line here, okay, that's your CPU speed. You see, I'm getting 1663, 16, 
50, 16, 50. It, it starts a little high and then it drifts down. But we're still, we're basically 1650 here. All the way across. So we're in the 1650s. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, temperature. Okay. What's my max temperature here? 53? Yeah, because that's because I've got this very aggressive. The fan speeds the yellow line. So you can see right here it popped up to about 2,000. I don't know if it's reading the fan right. Oh, it's off. So it goes a So the fan's hitting almost 3000 here. 28. That's when it's really roaring. But I just want to keep it cold. And my memory activity, memory is 920 all the way across. So so this is basically how you go about it. I was able to take this up my max. I got like six in the 1670s, you know, high 1670s for my clock speed. But it, it's only, it was only a little bit higher than this. I mean, in the end here, when you're just nitpicking a, a frame or two. So, um, that's my thoughts. Um, you know, you can get about almost 12% of performance from stock, plug it in, you know, to start. And if you, you play with it, you can, the, uh, my base overclocking, the starting point I told you, that's about seven and a half percent of improvement over your, um, uh, your stock. And if you really tweak it, you can get up close to 12% more. So this is your crazy old coop wishing you a good evening.